analysis. The thermal analysis, we have checked the temperatures during the daytime and during the nighttime. We wanted to see the heat loss. If it is a natural hill, then the heat loss is very slow. If it is an artificial structure, the heat loss is much quicker due to existence of the passageways, of tunnels, chambers, galleries. And uh, this survey also showed that uh, the hills that have the shape of the pyramid lose the heat much, much quicker. Later on, we figure out this is due to existence of the tunnels and, um, and the galleries. Then we hired uh, two teams of the georadar specialists. They are geophysicists, and their instruments can penetrate the surface. One team was from University of Belgrade, from Serbia, and the other one from Germany. Their leading georadar institution is from the company called LGA Biotechnic. These are the georadar instruments. They can penetrate the surface for 18 meters. What they uh, reported in their written report was that they found 44 anomalies under the surface. For geophysicists, the anomalies mean it cannot be explained by the natural cause. What they found under the soil were paved terraces, shaped blocks, passageways, tunnels, and so on. This is an example of the one underground passageways. What they did, they put those wooden pieces and they marked which way the tunnel goes. A few words about our archaeological dig. So in the center picture, we have the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun. The yellow lines show places where we actually remove the soil and the vegetation. The one on the top, top left corner, shows the place where two sides meet, north and east. What would you expect? from that place is that they meet at 90 degrees, the corner. And that's exactly what we found. North, east, 90 degrees. Other places, once we removed about 70 centimeters of soil, we were finding the stone blocks, you can see them on the bottom, and actually the walls of the pyramid from the bottom to the top. This is a huge, flat, stone surface. Up close the edge of the pyramid, this is the beginning of digging there. What we did, we uncovered about 25 meters, about 80 feet of this corner here. Now we are on the north side of the pyramid, Professor Pasic, University of Zenica, two professors from the Cairo University, Suleiman Hamid, Mona Fawad Ali, and the Dr. Nabil Selim, three times PhD in archaeology and Egyptology the men who found four pyramids in Egypt, they are uh, working with us on the Sun Pyramid. Now, you saw the video clip, you saw the photos, you saw the topographical map. There is no question in anyone's mind that the shape of that hill is pyramid. In order to prove that this is a man-made structure, you need to remove the soil and find the proofs for your claim. So this is one of the typical sections. This one is on the north side. So we removed about 70 centimeters of soil. What we found was amazing. Rectangular stone blocks. One, another one next to this one, the third one. As you can see, they form the same slope. So we have a rectangular shape, flat top, breaks at 90 degrees, flat side, flat bottom, six times flat sides, six times 90 degrees. The mother nature does not make blocks like this. It is a man who does it. So this is the block on the top, 45 centimeters thick. This is the second one. So the first row is laying on the second row. This block is about 40 centimeters thick. This is the third one. The reason why it's moved a little bit is because of the structural stability. The third row is laying on the fourth row of the stone blocks. This guy here is a four and a half meters long, one and a half wide. The weight is about eight tons. Eight tons, seven tons, eight tons, and so on. So we have four 
rose, one on top of each other. That's what man does, not nature. After four rows, we have uh, 45 centimeters of clay. Clay being a uh, connecting adhesive material. After clay, we have the fifth and then the sixth row of the stone blocks. So what we have here is actually we are looking at the outer casing of the Bosnian pyramid. Somebody mentioned the word controversy. When we studied this, some of the archaeologists in London, in Boston, in Sarajevo, were claiming this is all natural. Well, you make your own mind. Is it all natural or man-made? Or at least made by the intelligent hand. Another section on the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun, nicely shaped and then layered stone blocks. One, two, three, four. The artifacts on the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun, we found this rounded plate with a bunch of lines, rounded lines, something like a snake, something like letter E. Then we colored them, rounded lines, blue snake, letter E. And then we wanted to figure out what does it represent. So we rotated this stone for 90 degrees. So this big letter E came on this side. So from here it came there. Now what we got? This green rounded line is what we call the temple of earth. The blue snake is actually the river, river Fornica, which is in the valley. The brown line is the location and the outline of the Pyramid of the Love. The pink, the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun. The red line represents one of the underground tunnels that we discovered two years ago. The blue line represents also underground tunnel that we discovered last year. And as you can see, this blue line is taking us inside the pyramid. Right now, we cleaned about 250 meters from the entrance. And the entrance is two and a half kilometers from the Sun Pyramid. So this was actually the map. This is what we found. Left, bottom, huge block. The top of the block has the same texture like the Moon Pyramid. And we concluded that uh, we are talking about the same builders and probably the same time of the building. So we have a terrace, sandstone, clay layers, terrace, sandstone, clay, terrace, and so on. This block here is uh, 4 meters and 40 centimeters long, 170 wide, 63 centimeters thick. The weight is 23,600 kilo, about 24 tons. Now, in order to lift 24 tons, if uh, a man can uh, lift, in average, 50 kilos, we would need about uh, 500 people to lift this piece here. Now, how can we put 500 people around this block? Hardly. But, you know, I asked last year one of the tourists, okay, how would you put 500 people around this block? He said, well, I, I would put 200 on this side, 200 there, <laughs> and 50 on the ends. Next to this guy, there is another block, about 20 tons, 15 tons, 8 tons, and so on and so forth. These are the biggest stone blocks in southern Europe. That they are built into an ancient structure. We discovered this two years ago the pyramids three years ago. Last year, I'm going to show you what we discovered last year. Bosnia is becoming a superpower, at least on the archaeological map. One of the interesting artifacts that we found on the top of one of the terraces here is uh, this sandstone foot with the five toes. It uh, matches a male shoes number of 36. Well, if this was rather a short guy, probably a meter and a half. And that might explain how you would put 500 people around that block. 
Under the Bosnian Valley of the Pyramids, there is a network of the underground tunnels. Three years ago when I wrote my book, I said, well, we're going to find the network of the tunnels. And it was based on my experience with the, let's say, step pyramid in Saqqara. Maybe you know that there is a, the whole maze, a labyrinth of the tunnel, just under one pyramid in Egypt. And Teotihuacan, of course, has the network of the tunnels. The Giza pyramids has those tunnels. I said, we're going to find one in Visoko. There's the name of the town here. And people were saying, oh, it's impossible. Maybe you can find some natural caves or, you know, some coal mining or something like that. But instead, we found one of the entrances a year and a half ago. We barely could make it inside. In the meantime, for the last 12 months, you know, we widened it, so now it's almost two meters high. And we put the wooden support so it will be safe for the visitors and the researchers. This entrance is about two and a half kilometers from the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun. This is how they looked like, the beginnings. What we were doing, we cleaned a little bit to the left, to the right, and from the bottom. And then we put the wooden support. And that's exactly how it looks like today. Now, when we started cleaning the existing tunnel, we found out that uh, with the main tunnel, there is a bunch of side tunnels, like this one here at 45 degrees, another one here to the left at 90 degrees, another one here. Now, this one here is for some reason sealed off, a filling material and then the stones that form the drywall. Why would somebody seal off one of the side tunnels? Then another side tunnel was also blocked off. This is the profile of the tunnel, filling material. We have the blocks. We have uh, mineral water. <laughs> and another one, just this one is much uh, longer than the others. This one is three and a half meters long, the drywall. And it's sealed three side tunnels. One is here, the other one is there, the third one is here. Now, this tunnel network opens several questions, several mysteries. Who built the network underground, 20 meters underground? And that network goes for tens of kilometers in all directions. And the second question, why would somebody come during